It was Vincent Company's testimonial match today. Uh, interesting stuff from him ahead of it. He was asked for him, who is the best central defender ever in the Premier League? And he said, I go back to players that really impressed me when I played against them. Central defenders, and I'd bring it back to Virgil van Dijk. It's a weird one because he hasn't been on the scene for as long as John Terry or Rio Ferdinand, but the signs he showed in the last few years, it shows if he had been at the top level for longer, he would be further. The Liverpool before van Dijk and after is a completely different setup. I'll go with Frank. Let me go with Frank no, first. No, but I wasn't going to speak. Well, you made a noise. No, I was breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Loudly. Frank, for you, best central defender. Uh, after uh, Steve Nichols and myself, yes, for sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> seriously, seriously, if I think he's one of the best. If he's not the best, he's really very close to be the best. Um, but I have to name Rio Ferdinand. I have to name John Terry, Tony Adams, Saul Campbell as well, uh, Vidic as well. You know, they were they were absolutely fantastic one, central Frank, defenders. The uh, best. Marcel de, Marcel the, de Sailly. No, don't list all the players ever. <laughs> the, yeah, best, I mean, the best, the best central defender. It, it's. It doesn't mean anything. It's a different generation. You cannot compare something, you know, uh, incomparable. You know, put uh, Van Dijk now with uh, with Dublin against Dublin or against uh, uh, Fowler. You know, it may be another story comparing to other 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 uh, strikers. So, uh, central defender story. So it's difficult to compare. But definitely, that guy is amazing. He wasn't that good in Southampton, but for the past two years with Liverpool. Is yeah, he's the best right now. That for sure, the best central defender in the world. So you forget about that, don't you? I mean, people forget about it. It's a, football didn't exist, you know, in the early years of the Premier League when, before Tony Adams retired, people forget how he marshaled because he wasn't the quickest, mm. and he wasn't the greatest on the ball, but he just marshaled that back four. Was he the best for you of that generation? You know, John, I, I think Van Dyke's. I think the difference here is longevity. Ferdinand, Terry, Adams, it's longevity. We'll see what, in five years' time about Van Dyke. I think for what he had in terms of pace and other I think it's hard to look past John Terry. Right. Because at the end he struggled, but he was a... I don't know what Steve thinks, but he was a very, very clever centre-half. Yeah. Um, if, Van Dyke, if Van Dyke dominates the way he has done for the last two years, if he does it for another two years... Then absolutely. Yep. We're in danger of falling into being prisoners of the moment and thinking, well, this guy has been the best for the last couple of years, so he's the best ever, 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 ever. Ever is a long time. Relax. Don't be prisoners of the moment, everyone. Nope. nope. Uh, we will be later. <laughs> yes, we will be. Well, it's you a know, joke. deep, very deep. Uh, Liverpool at home against Newcastle. Meanwhile, Manchester City away against Norwich. Uh, both those games on Saturday.